Coming to you live from Orlando, Florida. So um, this is what happens, so you know, when your wife says, we're going on vacation, <laughs> and your boss says, you can't have vacation. See what I'm saying? Yeah, and now none of us <laughs> will ever have a vacation. Great. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens. So we are. Uh, broad- I am broadcasting uh, yeah, on location. Yeah, you morning. are <laughs> out on location um, this morning. So and and it's very interesting. I got to tell you when you're when uh, this is a very big week. Of course, is that a little better? Because there was a little noise there. I'm noticing. Yeah, we're getting um, some. Th- we're doing good. This is uh, this is a very big week. Of course, because it's spring break time, and so when you get on an airplane. You are loaded with uh, with people from the Utica area that are also heading down. So it's uh, I saw. Um, well, I, I'm not going to give any names because sometimes people don't want to know. Don't want people to know they're out of town. Mm-hmm. So maybe I will. Um, yeah, that's a good maybe idea. I won't say, but I mm. I can just say that uh, I saw some some local people, many local people <laughs> at the airport. On the uh, on on the way down here, so um, it's that big week. None of them were carrying bags of equipment though uh, <laughs> to do their job. Like I saw a plumber, I didn't see a pipe wrench. <laughs> okay, just for the record, Bill, I have but to ask you: Did you go to life? Did you go through Allegiant once again, or do they even still exist? Really not. No. Do they, they do. still exist? And yeah, and apparently doing quite well out of uh, out of Syracuse, I guess. But. Um, no, the last time we flew Allegiant, and, and I'm sure some people might have, because they go, I think, to Myrtle Beach. So, and I know a lot of people go to Myrtle Beach for this break. And when you're getting $55 one-way flights, now you got to uh, keep in mind, um, you know, you want a pilot, it's an extra $5. Um, if you want, <laughs> Just there five? Are certain, yeah. So, uh, but at the same time, you know, if you want to, for instance, if you want to board and have a seat. You have to pay extra. Now you'll get a seat, but you're going to get, if you don't pay the extra so many dollars to get the seat on that that airline, then it's kind of a everybody for themselves. And you try to, you might not sit with your family or whatever. But you can certainly save money. The problem we had is there was a last time we used them, and there was a strike going on, and it was brutal. I mean, we sat in the airport, and the the airline was saying. We're ready to fly, but the pilots were saying, no, we're not. There's something wrong. I mean, it was really like we were in the middle of a, of a labor dispute. It was rough. So we, did, we, we flew, uh, flew JetBlue. So let me um, ask you if yeah. uh, I thought at that time there was a labor dispute, you said. I See, I thought it was uh, that they were going under. Well, the, the, the thought was that they were. And the company kept saying, hey, we're going. If this keeps up, we're going to go under because they had had so many canceled flights. Okay. I mean, you can look it up now. I didn't even after that. We won't. We don't even fly them. But uh, um, I, you could look it up and see. I think they're doing okay, and they're flying out of Syracuse, and I think they're they're doing all right now. Um, here's a. Did you see the story of the 32 year old woman in L.A. who tried to run over her parents with a car and led, led police on a 100 mile per hour car chase? She finally parked. Did anybody see this story? No. Mm, no. Finally, she parked and waited for them to catch up with her. But when they got there, she stripped naked to avoid arrest. And it did not work. I don't know <laughs> if this involves some drugs or what. I don't know. We don't yeah. know anything. Her name don't is Simone. Don't touch me. I'm naked. <laughs> her name, well, that's oh, it's interesting you say that, Andrew. Her name is Simone Gonzalez, and she was clearly not in her right frame of mind. A reporter tried to talk to her. And she said she was a trained police officer, and then she called him a slave trader and accused him of sticking her with heroin needles. Uh, Therein lies maybe the issue here. Listen into some of the audio. This, to me, um, sounds like the woman from Saturday Night Live. I know. Me, too. I was going to say this sounds like a scene from Bridesmaids. It does. It's like a scene from Bridesmaids where she just gets that she's on the plane and she just had the two, uh, the two, the muscle relaxers, pills, the muscle yeah. relaxers, and she did a couple of cocktail chasers, and uh, this is this is like from that scene. It's like she's reenacting. Now there you go. <clears throat> wow. Folks, that's what happens. That's what that uh, was. That out of Florida? Is and that she's story men- out of Florida? She's Los mentioning. Uh, that's out of Los Angeles. Mentioning. Uh, she's mentioning 
the heroin, it gives you kind of a feeling like maybe that has something to do with it. Well, I just... Uh, listen, got a break. Hold on. Yeah? I don't know how the, the reporter got a chance to talk to her before she was taken into custody. No, no, that was, uh, that was from a body cam, was I going, think. I think the event was going on. Okay. And she and the reporter... You know how it happens in L.A. I mean, they're right on the scene. Right. And so it's happening before police arrive. Okay, got it. And then the reporter got in on it, and, of course, she's stripping her clothes down mm -hmm. and all of that. So good times in L.A. Hold on. We'll come right back. Christina has news, top of the hour. It's the first uh, news with Keeler in the morning, Monday morning on WYBX.